Hello, and I'm delighted to, uh, to welcome Olga Yegunova uh, to our series of chats with musicians at the Russian Art and Culture. Um, Olga is a dear friend and also a great pianist. But on top of that, um, she also has a charity that helps musicians. Uh, so today we'd like to raise an important uh, topic of how one can support musicians. Uh, I mean, it's very difficult for all performing artists, but especially musicians in this difficult time. And so, Olchka, very nice to see you here. Tell us a little bit more about the charity. What did actually, when did it start? What does it do? Uh, Yuli, thank you so much for your time and um, delighted to see you too. I think the world is going through an incredible crisis and of course it affects culture, it affects classical music. And although I'm a strong believer that charitable work has to be done anonymous, anonymously and quietly, now is the time really to, 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 to open up our, our work and talk about what we all can do to help those who are in trouble. I uh, wouldn't have even started this if one of um, or so many of those who, who we support are going through almost a starvation. The musicians live on lentils, they work in supermarkets, they work as drivers, the cat sitters and dog sitters and babysitters. And I have lots of respect to all of these professions, but I, I really think that this is not why we have sacrificed our childhood. We have, we've been working since the age of five, six to eight hours um, a day in order to just to be abundant. Uh, and this is how most of my colleagues and most of our scholars are feeling. And this is why we've decided to speak up, to speak out and to talk about the, uh, the problem. The charity initially, um, we started it five years ago with my, with my friend, Glenn, uh, who is uh, um, a musician, an, an amateur musician and mathematician. And initially we wanted to support children who are showing talent and interest and unfortunately can't afford music uh, lessons in the UK. And we have started just supporting them. But now since March, we've realized that this is not enough. We have to expand, we have to do more. And we've started the coronavirus campaign and um, we had a couple of fundraisers before summer. Then we had to stop for the summer because I had, um, I was pregnant and I, I gave birth to, to, a, to my second child. So we are restarting now. No, <laughs> thank you. I have, yes, I haven't really announced this visit, but you know, it's actually having a baby during the lockdown, it's another conversation. <laughs> we can have yet another Zoom, what it is like to raise children to, during the lockdown. So we are restarting now and we are, um, on our website, you can see we, we give a step-by-step -step instruction what you can do personally to support musicians. And uh, you, can, you can do so much, even if you don't have a lot of money, but you can always do a little bit and every little helps. And it's really, really about that these days. And I am very happy to, to, to share these steps with you if, you if you'd like me to. Yeah, and I think especially it's been very offensive uh, for musicians, these governmental campaigns and adverts, um, you know, saying that we all need to reskill and rethink. I mean, I personally found it uh, insulting uh, and I'm sure many do. And I think, um, unfortunately, in, in, in this country, um, you know, if we take, for example, Germany, the kind of concept of the governmental funding and support for music and arts um yes it's quite poor let's let's be quite open about it um so i think um many also don't realize um how um sort of important it is for one to perform because you know people usually say you can also teach but i think it's actually different professions because of course performing requires a certain state of mind so i'm not surprised that people are changing professions because they were not teaching because they were mainly performing and suddenly that big sort of corner has been i mean basically main job has been absolutely taken away i think historically classical music has suffered from the worst and from incredible depressions and from economic crisis and it has happened in the past and we have learned that music survives no matter what musicians survive no matter what now is the question how many will survive and how and what we can do to make sure that the majority will survive and if you're switch from performing to teaching you're an unlucky one these days but if you're switching from performing to completely different profession then it's 
this is, I find, humiliating. And this is, I find, incredibly offensive, sad and tragic. We are... Um, we have promised to be completely anonymous with our scholars, but we have people who have disabled uh, partners who have three and four, four dependents and who have been touring and never taught because they just didn't have time, didn't have responsibility to commit to somebody because they've been touring all the time. And they are completely paralyzed at the moment. There's nothing they can do, absolutely nothing. So we have started a monthly payment. So we are encouraging people, if you know a musician that is struggling, you can just, you don't need us. You can just directly communicate with this person and offer your monthly help. It can be a small amount, it can be a bigger amount. It doesn't matter. Everything will help these days. If you've, I've encouraged people actually to teach now and to, to, to have lessons. So if you always wanted to pick up a guitar or accordion or flute, this is the time now. Musicians will be so appreciative. If you have a teacher, please increase the fee. If you can, organize the concerts. Of course, we miss performances. Of course, we miss live performances. We are all incredibly tired of online concerts. And now that I'm organizing yet another online concert, I feel that people are a little hesitant. But we give me another option. If you have an idea how we can raise attention and raise funds, I'm happy to consider. So I think it's very important point. Um, so just first of all, um, what just Olga said, if you ever wanted to study something, you know, piano, violin, or trombone or singing, you know, it's a really great time. And there will be a lot of people who would just be happy to teach of top standards, top standards. Um, so consider that um, as, a, as a kind of really help is if you see it and then secondly if you have any um, space or, or anything organize a concert or uh, sponsor an online concert private one you know i'm sure you can even uh you know commission a couple of um pieces i'm sure that's possible you know now people are going to be um very keen to to to, to, to make music and all of these things, you know, they, they can be done through the charity, so you can even have some tax advantages. Am I right, Olga, here? So because, Absolutely, yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so um, I, um, but Olga, tell me, for example, um, what kind of, what is the step-by-step -step basis of, 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 of coming to your charity and um, being involved? So... It's very easy. You can either support a musician directly, as I said, or you can go through us if you would like me to put you in touch with potential music tutors or teachers, or if you'd like to listen to the online concerts that we organize. I'm always available and uh, I'm sure we can leave uh, all the details yes. below in the description of this video. Step by step would be not to be indifferent and to be aware that this is a problem and this is a big problem. The thing that the, the most dramatic element of the situation is that there have there've been three articles so far in the British press about the situation with musicians. Of course, the advert has been like an anti-promotion for us, for the musicians. Thank you, in a way, because at least people have noticed that the way musicians are treated is beyond any respect. And I think the more we talk about it, the more famous musicians talk about it, the better. The more we say how we struggle, the better. I've noticed with all our scholars, the people that we interview, when we ask them, tell us about your expenses, tell us how we can help you. They all say, listen, maybe there's somebody who needs more than me. They all are so modest. It's unbelievable how modest our musicians, but it's not time now to be modest. It's time to shout that we are in trouble. So step by step would be to be aware that this is a problem. And let's now talk about the problem solving. You've mentioned already the steps that we have um, uh, forms to mentioned on our website, which is, of course, commissioning a piece, having a piano uh, or flute or violin, a music tutor, or donating to the charity or donating directly to the musician. Or if you know and can have a lawful way of organizing a concert with a distance, with the masks, with all the necess necessary precautions, please do so because you will, it's a win win. The audience is starving for live communication, and musicians can earn, they can have a fee for the concert. And of course, 
our interest now is a charity. We, we fully depend on the private donors and we've been incredibly lucky. We raised a lot in these five years and I would like to thank every single donor that has been with us. But now we want to develop. We want to have a collaboration with corporations. We are applying for grants. We are looking for, we want to go into the different level of funding so that we can support more musicians. And here, again, it's, it's a question of luck. So if you are interested and if you know people who would be interested in supporting a bigger amount of musicians and give us bigger amount of funds, we are here to receive it and, and, and really make sure that this money arrives and, and to the right people and right people are supported in this time. Exactly. Well, it's it's incredibly important point, and um, there are they are easy steps, you know. And and if you don't feel like playing or you have no time or something, give it as a present to someone who you know who might want to to do it. Uh, if there are so many it's ways. A very good idea. Yes, there are so many ways that you can support and um, myself as well, uh, you know, I've increased my teaching. I have been very lucky with that. But uh, now I think it's the time where public has to take action. And uh, really, if you are in a position to sponsor and fund partly, um, all the details are in our description. They will be on the website. And um, we can chat to Olga and of course I will be happy to pass um, you to Olga or if you come through the Russian art and culture website. Um, please share the word, uh, the word if you know anyone. Um, uh, that would be the most helpful thing. And also, I, have and, no idea. I mean, everyone, you know, you can, you can enroll for like an, a course, you know, you can have a musician talking about music with you, you know, you can have regular chats maybe about music, you know, about a composer you always wanted to uh, listen to and just someone telling you about that you know there are so many like almost exclusive possibilities because of these times you know with people who are at the top of their profession but completely cut off from performing and therefore earning and also i think that people the audience is always intrigued about the backstage what's happening in the cool war so how do we get ready for the concerts how do we practice how do we get rid of our stage fright and I think now is the time really to create this bond with the musicians who, who are not traveling, who are not performing, who are not touring. You can create a bond by, bond by having, uh, so, sort of, um, having lessons with them. And then I know for a fact that musicians will pay you back, will play you back. They will commit to you. They will always be grateful for, for, for your support now. And also speaking in the, in the more concrete words, I would say that one of the ways how you can help already today is by joining us on Saturday for Misha Shilayev's uh, piano recital, online piano recital. We are uh, very grateful that he's um, agreed on a very short notice and he is preparing a beautiful program with uh, Coupron and Chopin and his own composition and Ravel and it will be a beautiful program with introductions where he will be explaining how and why he's chosen these particular pieces and we are suggesting a donation of 40 pounds but any any donation will be will be gladly received if you would like to join us on Saturday please get in touch with us and we will send you the link we've noticed that um just generic online concerts are not valued by the audience. And I think that we should stop with free online concerts. I think we should respect ourselves to begin with and we should get paid for every single performance that we present. Nobody knows how many hours it takes to prepare a piece. We just show the final result, and everyone thinks it's nothing, it's easy. And I've noticed that people are starting to take musicians for granted. And as a result of that, we receive an advert as we received uh, recently. So I think that by joining us on Saturday, you will also join a community of those who are not indifferent and who care. And you will support Misha directly because he is playing for his fee. He's also um, talking about that and he raises the attention. Yeah, and Misha is a is a great pianist. You know, um, it's wonderful. And um, you know, if a pianist like Misha in in this situation, I mean, then you know, it's really painful to think how many others who are who are maybe not of Misha's standard, I or, or even higher. So it's it's a problem that affects um, everyone. I mean, it's I say affects because it's not ended. You know, it's not affected 
unfortunately, and now we can come back. It's, it's it, unfortunately the, the, the kind of the, the present that um, doesn't see the end. Um, and yeah. everyone is very frustrated. Well, let's be optimistic. I think there is the end of the, so the light at the end of the tunnel. I think we just have to survive this season mm -hmm. and I'm sure things will get better. I'm sure. If we don't, um, if we are pessimistic and if we don't have a hope, mm -hmm. then what's the point? Yeah. This is what musicians, we musicians have. We have a willpower and optimism and I'm sure together we will survive. Well, Olga, on that positive note, so I don't get back into my hole. <laughs> I'm going to finish and just invite everyone a, to check out the website of the charity. It's in the description. Um, to, you know, have an interest in this and think broadly and think of any opportunity um, or opportunity for your friends if you have some people that you know who might help. And then thirdly, please join uh, the concert on Saturday and uh, the description will be also in, on the website and everywhere. And yes, hope you will become another sort of member of the public who can sponsor and support musicians in this difficult time. Thank you, Olga. Was there yes, and we thank no. you and we thank you every single person in advance for your contribution. And thank you, Julia, for your time. Спасибо большое and see you soon. See you soon, Olga. Bye.